In the fields of Andhra Pradesh, they're harvesting rice <laughs> and plowing the muddy plots, preparing for a new crop. Srinivas follows in the steps of generations before him. He and his wife burn waste from rice plants, making lots of thick, polluting smoke and a little ash to fertilize the soil. But now he's testing a different approach, making a compost mixed with organic charcoal. An old idea getting new attention. These days the charcoal is called biochar. These farmers are making biochar. They've taken a giant mound of plant and soil and buried a smoldering fire deep within. This is an ancient practice, but it may hold a lot of promise for the future when it comes to slowing global warming. Biochar is made by burning material with little or no air. So oxygen stripped from the plant waste fuels the burning. The result, a rich charcoal, pure carbon locked in and not released back into the atmosphere. Another benefit, biochar improves soil quality. We can see the pieces of biochar. Yeah. Dark colored pieces. Dr. Sai Bhaskar Reddy has brought biochar testing to the fields of this village. He says adding it to the soil allows air to circulate, keeping soil moist and drawing microbes and worms. When there is air, when there is life in the soil, so ultimately we have a healthy soil. Farmer Srinivas says his cotton field with biochar has nearly double the cotton buds of his non biochar field. He tells me our costs are lower because with biochar we are seeing a healthier crop, so we've been using 50% less chemical fertilizer. But critics say a boom market for biochar will encourage the cutting down of forests and giving up farmland to grow crops just for biochar. Reddy says the forests can be spared if only local plant life is used. He's introduced a low-cost, low-polluting stove that produces biochar during cooking. Balraj uses one in his tea shop. He tells me it requires less wood and it has more heat than the traditional stove, so cooking is faster. An idea revived from tradition that just might slow down the warming of our planet. Liz Nislaw, CNN, Petamaduro, India.